Welcome to Fontainebleau, France, a town near Paris that is home to one of the largest French royal chateaux with a medieval castle and subsequent palace that served as a residence for the French monarchs from Louis VII to Napoleon III. Today, I've got a Pilates class for you that's going to focus on strengthening and toning your entire body, sculpting every muscle from your core, your booty, your glutes, your shoulders, and your triceps. This 10-minute Pilates sequence is an intense workout that, if done regularly, will provide you with extremely effective results. Now you can incorporate this Pilates sequence before a gentle yin yoga flow or on its own to boost your metabolism and create lean muscle. So, if you're ready, go ahead and grab a mat, definitely grab some water, and let's get started. If you want to discover more of my adventures as an American yogi living in the beautiful country of France, go ahead and check out my blog at www.pranetwork.life. Now, let's get back to our practice. Alright friends, we're going to begin by being seated at the back of our mat today, taking a big breath in and going ahead and taking a quick child's pose to start off this practice. Really just connecting with your breath here, feeling your inhalation and exhalation with every breath that you take. Let's go ahead and interlace our fingers at the back of our mat and bring those arms toward the top of your mat, giving ourselves a nice shoulder stretch, opening up those shoulders and releasing any tension that we may have. Allowing those shoulders to really just fall to the top of the mat. Go ahead and let's go up to the top of our knees. Let's go take it the other way. Going up into your prayer position, allowing ourselves to open our heart here. Beautiful. Let's go back into that child's pose, keeping our hands interlaced here, allowing them to fall to the top of our mat. Letting those interlacing fingers go and taking a normal child's pose here, really connecting with your breath at this time. Let's go ahead and bring ourselves into our tabletop position, taking some quick cat cows here. Inhale, rounding your spine into your cat, and exhale, dropping your belly to the floor into your cow. Inhale, rounding your spine into your cat, drop your belly to your mat into your cow. Good, just take a couple more deep breaths here. Inhalation and exhalation. Let's come back into your neutral position. Go ahead and feel grounded. Let's take our right leg and bring it up to the sky into our 50-50 plank. And let's just go ahead and give it a tap and then kick the leg as high as you can. And with control, just bring that leg down, keeping your feet here pointed. Beautiful, kick down, kick down. And let's go back into your neutral position and let's take a 50-50 plank here, taking your left arm to the sky, holding it here, keeping your hips square and taking your 50-50 crunches. So all you're doing here is you're bending that knee and that left arm and allowing them to crunch. So really allowing your elbow and your knee to meet in a crunching position. Just keep going, you got this. Crunch. Go back into that 50-50 plank. Crunch. Go back into that 50-50 plank. Beautiful. And let's go ahead and keep it to neutral. Go ahead and go into your plank position. And all we're going to do here is we're going to take two steps out and two steps in whilst in our plank, making sure that we're activating our belly here, pulling that belly into the spine, keeping a nice straight line with our body, and all we're doing is just stepping out and stepping in in our plank position. Out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. Beautiful, keep going, you got this. Let's go back into normal plank. Bending your knees and give me 
some Pilates push-ups. One, two, three, four. Keep your elbows really close to your body. So we're working on activating our triceps here to give ourselves nice big muscles. Wonderful. Go back into your plank position and go ahead and give me a Chaturanga Dandasana. Going into your upward facing dog with your thighs off of the floor and coming back into our child's pose. Beautiful. Taking this moment to connect to our breath, feeling our elevated heartbeat. And in just one moment, we're going to take this exercise to the other side. Breathing in and breathing out slowly. Let's go ahead and go back into tabletop and now let's take it to the other side. So this time your left leg is going to come up off of the floor and we're going to take our kicks. So kick your left leg up as high as you can and with control, bringing it down with your toes pointed. Up. Up. Good job. Keep kicking. Keep working that glute muscle. Let's go ahead and stop it here and give me a 50-50 plank. So your right arm is raising up. Your hips are square. And let's go ahead and take those 50-50 crunches. Good job. Keeping your balance here. Crunch. Try and make sure to get that physical contact with your elbow and with your knee. Good job. Crunch. A wonderful exercise for your obliques. Beautiful. Crunch. You're almost there. Go ahead and bring that arm down and go back into your plank. Wonderful. Now let's go ahead and go onto our elbow plank or your hummer and we're just going to take some dolphin planks. So all we're doing here is we're going up into an upward facing dog, but we're keeping our elbows on the floor. So you're bringing your hips up to the sky and coming back into your elbow plank. Hips up to the sky and coming back into your elbow plank. Very nice. Hips up to the sky, elbow plank. You're almost there. Very nice. Let's just stay in that elbow plank for just a couple of seconds. Making sure that our hips aren't falling down. Keeping our body in a straight line. Go ahead and go up to your full plank. And take your Chaturanga Dandasana your upward facing dog and this time let's go into our downward facing dog really walk it out here feel this posture feel your sternum fall closer to the floor with each breath that you take beautiful really connecting with your breath here let's go ahead and take two big steps to the top of your mat Go ahead and interlace our fingers and let those arms fall to the top of our mat, allowing ourselves to take a nice shoulder opening stretch here, feeling that nice breath in and out of our bodies. Let's go ahead and grab our elbows here. This is called your ragdoll position. And just letting your muscles go in this forward facing fold, swing back and forth, allowing that tension to melt away. Really nice. If you're able to, go ahead and grab your ankles or your shins and take a forward facing fold. Your aim here is to try to get your forehead to your knees. Beautiful. Let's take a standing split. So taking your left leg and bringing it high, as high as you can towards the sky. Really feeling that nice opening in our hip flexor. Let's go ahead and take it to the other sides. So this time your right leg goes high. Doing our best to bring that leg all the way to the sky. Beautiful, bring that leg down. Go ahead and stand up into your mountain pose, raising your arms high up to the sky, feeling your inhalation. Take a big swan dive down, halfway lift, and go ahead and sit down on your mat now. We're going to work a little bit on our core, so go ahead and take a boat posture. So both of your legs come up and they're bent slightly. And let's just hold it here. 
If you're a bit advanced, all you're going to do is go into your full V by extending your legs. Let's go back into a normal boat position if you are in extension and go ahead and give me some seated bicycles. All we're doing here is just for bending one knee at a time, bringing that knee into ourselves just like we're riding a bicycle here with control. So we're not pushing those legs all over the place, but we're really pushing them as if we're controlling our legs in a bicycle. Very nice. Make sure to activate those abs. Beautiful. Come back into your boat posture now. And let's go ahead and go into our upward facing plank. Really throwing our head back, feeling that nice stretch. And all we're doing now is we're bending our leg and kicking it up with control. So a nice little passe, starting with our right leg. So bend it and then bring it all the way up and with control, put it down. Good job. Bend it, bring it all the way up and with control, bring it down. Let's do it on the other side. So this time your left leg, bend your leg, bring it up and with control, bring that leg down. Beautiful, bend it, throw it up and with control, bring it down. You're almost there, just a little passe. And let's go ahead and take that inverted plank once more, throwing our head back. Beautiful, let's bring our bodies down and bring our hands up to the sky. Let's take a nice forward facing fold, bringing our hands all the way to our feet or our shins if possible and trying to bring our forehead to our knees. Very nice. Remember here that we're bending from our hips, never from our back. Good job. Let's go up and to seated again and this time taking your right leg, bringing it all the way over your left and we're going to take a nice seated spinal twist. So all that's happening here is your left leg is straight, your right leg is crossing over your left and you're bringing your left arm and you're pushing that right leg away to the other side. Good job. This time your left leg comes up over and you're using your right arm to push that left leg to the other side. A nice spinal twist here. You're looking over to the other shoulder, feeling that elongation in the spine. Beautiful. Bringing it in and out slowly. Wonderful. Let's go ahead and do some windshield wipers here to let go of any tension that we may have experienced in our legs. Let's go ahead and take a nice seated position. Let's take a nice big head roll from one side, releasing any neck tension, and then the other. Taking a nice little neck stretch, so using your right arm first to bring that left side of your neck to the right side, opening up that side of your neck. Wonderful. And then switching sides, so now your right arm. And you're just opening that side of the neck today, feeling that nice side stretch. Inhaling, let's take our arms up to the sky, bringing our hands to heart, thanking ourselves for this 10 minute time we've dedicated to really work on sculpting our whole entire body. One more big deep breath in and putting your hands to your third eye chakra, bending down and really thanking our bodies for allowing us to push us this far. You did an amazing job today and I wish you love and light Thank you so much. Namaste. If you did enjoy this video today, please make sure to subscribe to my channel as well as like and share the videos for more videos just like this. I hope to see you soon.